Everyone just calls me Huck. Some folks feel sorry for me because my ma died and my pa took off for parts unknown. But the way I look at it, I'm the luckiest boy who ever lived. I can stay up as late as I want, go where I want. I ain't never got to take a bath, ever. And best of all, I ain't never got to go to school. Yep, ain't no one in this whole wide world as lucky as Huck Finn. first. No, you tell me your name first. Listen, you, there ain't no one east of the Mississippi who doesn't know me. You listen, there ain't no one west of the Mississippi who doesn't know me. Well, I don't know your name, fella, and I don't know yours. Mm. <laughs> All right, then, I'm double-dog daring you to cross that there line. Uh, <laughs> There, I crossed your dumb line, so what are you gonna do about it, tough guy? Hey, you looking for a fight? You talking to me? Huh? It's a school bell. I'm gonna be late again. We'll have to settle this after school. Don't you run away. I'll be here. You better be, because I'll be looking for you, understand? No one tells Huck Finn what to do. Thomas Sawyer, <laughs> you're late as usual. Oh. Come on up here. Who's this? Miss Becky Thatcher. She's new here. This is her first day. Hi there. You free for lunch? This must be my lucky day. Ah. Uh, hey, you! Uh, who? Me? You little thief. You stole my apple! Huh? Oh. Uh, 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 no, you don't understand. I didn't steal it. What's to understand? The apple's right there in your hand, you thieving little liar. No one steals from me! Yeah. What? See ya! Oh, oh. oh my, my apple! 
Tails. Oh, this is all your fault. Oh, grab that kid. Uh, he's an apple thief. Oh, it's that kid again. Whoa. Come back here. Look at that kid climb! Oh. Yahoo! It's like a little bird. What's the matter? There. Can't you catch Let's me? Let's go. Well, you just wait. <laughs> go! Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Now I got you, you little apple thief. No one steals my apples. No, I didn't steal that apple. Honest, I found it in the street. Ah. Uh oh. Uh. Uh -huh. A likely story. No one in their right mind would believe it, that. It's true, I tell you. Wait. Huh? Uh -huh. I believe the boy. Now then, please put the boy down, Mr. Jackson. But he... Nonsense. Uh... I will not hear another word about it, understand? <laughs> uh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Poor lad. So undernourished, he'll need several more apples, I should think. Huh? He must be starved. Go on, young man. Eat your fill. Mrs. Douglas, being nice to the kid only encourages him to steal more. But I didn't steal no apples, ma'am. Honest, no, I didn't. No, of course you didn't. Why, a boy with eyes like yours could never do such a thing. Now tell me, where do you live, young man? Around. Around? But where? Where do you live? There. Well, but I'm still not sure Thanks exactly. for the apples. Oh, and thanks for believing I didn't tell no lie. Never take me alive. Me and my cutthroat crew will feed you to the fishes. Yeah! You two are no match for me and my men. You and your men? Ha! What a joke! It makes me laugh! <laughs> huh? Hey, look, Tom. Someone's up in the tree. It's him. It's that kid I was telling you about. The nerve of that guy. Yeah! Huh. That's not fair. Now, I was planning to be the first one to climb to the top of that tree. How you get down here? Wow, I never seen anyone up that high for now. Well, I'm not gonna let him get away with it. That's my tree. Hi! You! Who, me? You and me got some unfinished business. Get down here! It's that kid from this morning. If you want to talk to me, you come up here. You come down right now, you hear me? Ha, this. No. Who? He's standing on one leg. Well, I can do that too. Hey, come on down here, kid. Let's just some kind of yet a chicken. You saying I'm chicken? I'll show you who's chicken. Yay! Look at him go. Who's chicken smarty pants? Where were you after school? <clears throat> we're gonna settle this right now. You bet we are. On your mark, get set, run! Do it, Tom. <laughs> you can take him, Tom! <laughs> Do it, Tom! That's it! Do it! You got it! Listen, you don't got a chance! Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> You'll never keep up with me. I'll leave you in the dust. Hey. So guys, slow down, will ya? You're going too fast. Fast and slow for me. a tie. You swim, don't you? Better than you. They're gonna have a swimming race. Ain't no one can beat me. No how. Nuts. Ready, set, go! Go! 
It's a tie? <sighs> well, I guess you're okay by me. Same here. I'm Sawyer. <laughs> Let's see. I wonder if there's a place around here I can spend the night. Huh? Hey, something's wrong. Sounds like some poor dog's in trouble. Then you're scared to death, aren't you? Don't worry, I'm your friend. Hey, come on out. <laughs> well, I guess my face did need washing. Well, let's have a look at you. Hey, you're that cute little dog I saw this morning. Oh, Looks like we're both alone in the world, aren't we, boy? Just you and me. But that's okay, because we got each other, right? That's right, and you know what you and me are going to do? The two of us are going to have more fun than anybody in the whole wide world's ever had. What do I call you? How about Lucky? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a perfect name for you. Because you and me were so lucky to find each other, isn't that right, boy? So you just snuggle up and make yourself at home. <sighs> I guess I'm a little tuckered out, but this sure was a good day. I found you for one thing. <coughs> lucky. <laughs> That's right. Sheriff, what's that poster say? Can't you read, boy? Of course I can read. I got something in my eye. That's all a speck of dust or something. That there is Injun Joe, dangerous man. So that's Injun Joe. Oh, he looks like an awful man. What did he do this time, Sheriff? Well, he robbed six houses over there in Riverton. If you or your friends see any sign of him, you let me know lickety split, young man. You bet I will. I hear tell he wears disguises. I hear Injun Joe killed the last man who fingered him. Sliced his throat. Huh? So he'll kill anyone who tells on him? Golly! Oh, I hope they catch him soon. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Just... <coughs> Maybe this wasn't such a good time to take the shortcut through the graveyard. Not that I'm scared or anything. It's just that it's so dark out here. Hold it right there. Mm -hmm. Well now, Joe, mm -hmm. looks like my hunch was right. I thought I might find you out here. What do you want, Sheriff? Matter of fact, Joe, I came here to arrest you. Do you really think I intend to let you take me in? The Sheriff better be careful. You try to... Oh! I gotta get some help. You let him get away. Are you sure that was smart? <laughs> I ain't worried about some two-bit sheriff. 
What was that? Someone's here! It was nothing. See, it's just a mouse. <laughs> ah! Ah! A mouse! Look. Keep it away! Get it away from me! I hate mice! I've always hated mice! Keep it away! <laughs> you were so scared of a mouse. I ain't scared. I, I just can't stand them. They're all over the place! Ah! Keep it it's away! Just a mouse. Keep it away! <laughs> 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 This place was deserted, but guess not. This could be the place where pirates hid the gold. Let's take a look. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Whoa, well, well, it's now or never. never. Now. Right? Right. right. Uh, uh. Hey, watch out! Uh. Uh. This was a trap set by the pirates to protect their gold. So what? Nothing's gonna stop us. Yeah. Well, it looks like a pirate hideout, all right. Sure hope they don't come back. They could have hid that treasure anyway in here. Where do you think it is, Huck? Now, let me see. Up there? Up there? I don't believe you said that, Huck. That's where old ladies hide their pin money. Don't you know anything about pirates at all? You know it's probably right underneath us, cause pirates always dig a hole to hide their treasure in. So? How are we gonna find out where they hid it? We can't dig up the whole floor. Well, that's the easiest part. All we gotta do is listen for a hollow sound. We'll just stomp around till we find it. Right. Hey! Over here, Tom! Yeah. Hey! I'll bet you anything this is where the pirates hid their treasure. Wow. We have to hold up here till things quiet down on the river. Look how soft the ground is. Like someone dug here before. Yep, this is it, all right. Huh? huh? We found it. <laughs> oh, boy, this is heavy. It's locked up tight. Now, you're absolutely sure that the shed's been deserted and that nobody's been in there since we hid the money? Uh-huh. Yeah, that did it! <laughs> Ready, set, go! go. Oh boy, a chest full of pirate gold. What? What is it? Joe, this hole weren't here when we left this morning. Something's fishy around here. Everything looks okay. Let's check the gold. I think it's Engine Joe. The Engine Joe? Hey, look, Joe. Our money's still safe. And this chest wasn't here when we left. That's, That's our, our treasure. treasure. Look at this. It's filled with gold. I don't know, Joe. A chest of gold just don't show up out of thin air. It's ours now. I can't believe they're stealing our treasure. Yeah, we gotta find a way to stop them. Mm. I 
got me a feeling we got ourselves some thieving rats. <laughs> oh. is ours, fair and square. That's right, and nothing will stop us from getting it back. Nope, nothing and nobody. Our next big adventure, right? Yeah, and we'll get it back if it's the last thing we do. Right? Right. Take your seats. Well, what a surprise, Master Tom's on time today. Why? dream of being late, sir. Usually you're late because you're still dreaming. Liar. I have exciting news, class. Tomorrow is our annual field trip to the Indian Caves. Yeah! We'll be taking the ferry boat so everyone meet on the pier at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Yeah! A trip to the Indian Caves, oh boy, hug! Wake up! you? You were supposed to help me watch for Injun Joe. Forget about that. I brought you something good to eat. Food? Really? I'm so hungry I think I could eat a horse. Mmm, thanks, Tom. Huck, I got a field trip tomorrow. Yeah, sounds like fun. <coughs> Where are you going? Our whole class is taking the ferry to the Indian Caves. Great, huh? If you say so. You got any more food? Oh. <coughs> Careful, children. Don't wander off. Stick together. We yes, will. Yes, yes, we will. My goodness, isn't it beautiful? I've never seen anything like it, have you? Oh, oh look at that. Oh. Everything's so sparkly. Now listen to me, all of you. These Indian caves are very deep, so don't wander off alone. Everyone's to stay with a buddy. Yes, sir. We will. Come on, Becky, you and me will be buddies, all right? Oh, look at that. Come on, Bobby, look at this. Oh, oh it's like it's diamonds. <laughs> oh, great, now you're stuck. What are you two boys doing over there? Nothing, sir. The sign says danger, can't you read? Yes. Then tomorrow you'll write danger on the blackboard a hundred times. Now come along. Yes, sir. <laughs> Looks like those tagalongs, George and Ben, won't be following us today. It's kind of scary down here, Tom. Relax, Becky. As long as you hold on to that string, we can't get lost. All right, kids. The field trip's about over. Please, Tom, can't we go back now? Oh, come on. Where's your sense of adventure, Becky? You know what? I bet you no one's ever been this far before. Who knows what we might discover? Well, all right, I guess. Oh. Oh, no, watch out, Becky! On board, it's time to head home. Now we're lost, Tom. <laughs> oh, now don't you worry, Becky. I can get us out of here. Really, Tom? Why, the truth is, I practically grew up in these here caves.
I sure wish Tom would get back. Huh? It's Engine Joe! Without Tom here, I guess it's all up to me now. This way, old man. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves. They're going through the woods. I'll keep telling them no matter where they go or how far it is, because I'm going to get our pirate treasure back no matter what. I thought you said you knew where we were, Tom. You got to trust me, Becky. I'll get us out of here. Believe me, you don't have a thing to worry about. Tom! What? Look! You see those cross daggers? We walked by them an hour ago. That's okay. It won't be long before we're out of here. Come on, Joe! What are we hanging around here for? Let's split the loot and get away. All you ever think about is money. Speaking about the money, are you sure it's safely hidden? We don't want someone stealing it from us. Of course it is. I buried it under the cross daggers in the Indian caves. We'll get it first thing tomorrow. That's where Tom went today. Well, oh, I don't know where they are. They should have been on the boat. I don't understand. Well, have you heard anything? No, I huh? tell you, I saw him and Becky go down there. Huck! Hey, Huck, wait! Huh? Listen, Huck, have you heard the news? About what? Tom and Becky are lost down in Indian caves. That's where Injun Joe is headed. Oh, oh, Tom's gonna need my help, but how can we stop Injun Joe? Hmm? Mice, that gives me an idea. An idea? For what? Don't cry, Becky. I'm fine, Tom. I want to go home. Someone will find us, Becky. Huh? huh? It's a lot. We're saved. Hey! Over here! Becky, we're saved, see? I can hardly believe here it. Here we are! Thank goodness! Oh my gosh! Engine Joe! What are you kids doing here? Tom, I'm scared! Run, Becky. <gasps> Mm, come Hurry, back Becky, here! We can't let him catch us! I'll get you! Uh, 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 Becky! Becky, you gotta get up right now! Oh. Forget it, kid. You're mine. <laughs> uh, 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 Hold it right there! Uh, 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 That's far enough, Engine Joe. Now it's time for a taste of your own medicine. I'll make you wish you were never born. Oh, yeah? Uh, 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 then there's plenty more where that came from. No! No, please get him away! Get him away, I hate mice! Uh, get him what away! What are you two waiting please. for? Let's go! <laughs> now don't let him get you, please, Joe! Please, See please, ya! <laughs> Come on! Please! Please! <laughs> Come on. Becky, Huck, are you okay? Have you seen Injun Joe? He's in there. Let's get him, man. All right, let's Come go. On, let's go. Let's go. Tom, Becky, you're a hero, Huck. You saved Tom and Becky from Injun Joe. Why, Huckleberry Finn, you are quite the hero in my book. Oh, shucks, twerk nothing. Don't be so <laughs> modest, Huck. Huck, Jim and I want to ask you something. That's right, Huck. Why don't you come and live with me and the widow Douglas? What? Yes, indeedy. I'd be mighty proud to have a boy like you under my roof. And wait till you taste her cooking. <laughs> hey, that sounds like a great idea. Okay, sounds all right to me. But first, me and Tom, well, we got something to do. Yeah, we sure do. Engine Joe said he buried it. This is the spot. Just keep digging. Oh, look, Tom, it's our pirate treasure. 
Didn't I always tell you we'd get it back sooner or later? Come on, Tom, let's open her up and take a look at that gold. Let's count it, see how much there is. Golly. Just look at all that money. Oh. It's like a dream. Don't pinch me. We're rich! We're rich! We're rich! We're rich! Is that how you treat your paw after all this time? B -b -b pa I didn't know. I didn't know it was you honest. You little brat. What's them fancy sleeping clothes you be wearing? They're called pajamas. Mm, no real son of mine would be caught dead wearing no pajamas. Just what are you doing here anyway? The treasure. What else would you think? Mm -hmm. Don't play dumb with me, boy. Where is it? Where is it? The Widow Douglas and the judge keeps my share of the treasure for me. There must be a few dollars stashed around here somewhere, boy. No, none. Uh, and just where do you think you're going, huh? What's going on in there? <gasps> this man. Who is he, Huck? He's my pa. Mm, that is the truth, ma'am. He's my son. Mm-hmm. Your Huck's father? Well, yes, ma'am. That there is the truth. To what do we owe the pleasure? Well, ma'am, I come the moment I heard the rumor, you know. As soon as I heard the boy was rich, I mean to get my share. Oh, all right. I suppose I could give you some money. No, don't. It's all right, my boy. You should learn a lesson of kindness from this here fine lady, boy. She knows how to do right by a feller. <laughs> Have my word, Mr. Finn. You'll get your money tomorrow noon directly after I've spoken with the judge. Much obliged, ma'am. I tell you, Jim, I thought I was having a nightmare. Say, Huck, I was wondering, how come you never talked about your father? I don't never want to have nothing to do with him. Oh. I think about my mother all the time. I miss her a lot. What do you think, Huck? Is your pa gonna take you away? Not a chance. Even if he tries to force you? I'd fight. You would? Sure. Tell you what, Jim. Let's go find your ma. I'd like that, Huck. She's real sick in a hospital downriver. But how can we? Just do it, that's how. You're coming with me. No, I won't. You'll do as I tell you. Uh, uh, Stop uh, it. Have you forgotten our agreement? Who cares what we agreed? He's coming with me and there ain't a thing you can do about it. You're a beast. Shut up. Uh. Uh. Huh? Quiet. This is all your fault. You get your things and come with me. I shall call the judge if you don't leave this instant. Watch it, lady. I know what you and that thieving judge is up to, stealing my boy's money. No, Pa! So, you coming with me peaceful like? Well, I... he's staying. Please, Huck. Don't go. I'm sorry. I got to. It'll be better this way. <laughs> Hold on, Pa. <laughs> I'll get my things. Oh, dear. <laughs> Huck, no! <laughs> Please, think about what you're doing, Huck. You don't have to go, Huck. Please stay, Huck. I gotta go. Huckleberry. Get down here, boy. I love you. Huck, don't go. <sighs> mm, come on. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See now who 
Gizio Mane. <laughs> Do you see the looks on their faces when I grab their meal ticket? <laughs> you don't need those people, boy. Yes, Pa. Pa, where did you get the money for all this food? Well, <clears throat> what do you care, boy? Um, just eat it. <laughs> I would explain more where that came from. Pa, it's just gonna go to waste. So? Why should I care about that? From now on, I could do whatever I want, and ain't nobody gonna answer to no one. Yeah, you got that? Yes, Pa. What's wrong um. with you? <laughs> uh, look, Huck, tell me what you think. Is, is this me or what? I guess. D you, you really think so, boy? D you don't know what it's been like for me, son. I, I haven't cut one good break my whole life. Everywhere I go, people look down on me. Uh, but now that we got money, boy, we're respectable. Even that, even that widow lady will look up to us. What? Promise me, you'll never bother the widow Douglas anymore. Oh, of course not. Not as long as I got you. <laughs> I understand. We've got to help Huckleberry. I think I know where his father's keeping him. Then what are we waiting for? It's up to us to save him. Let's go, Jim. Come on, Lucky. <laughs> Guys, it's good to see you too, huh? Real good. Let's go. Come on, you're free. Huh? I'm sorry, but I can't go. What you talking about? Well, I just can't, that's all. But the widow Douglas needs to see you. Is something wrong? She's been sick ever since you've been gone. That figures. I cause trouble for everyone. Just let me be. That's not true. Just tell us what to do and we'll do it. Do you have a plan? No, I don't. But don't you worry about me. I'll come up with a way out of this. You can bet on that. We're with you, whatever you do. I appreciate that. The two of you are the greatest pals a guy could have. Now take off. Go on. But it don't seem right leaving you here like this. Don't worry. I'll find a way out of here. You'll see. Take it long. See ya. And soon. Real soon. I promise. Bye. Take care. I still don't feel right about this. We'll be waiting. Good luck, Huck. You take care of yourself here. Yeah? Come on, Jim. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. I gotta be with people I care about. With people who care about me. I can guess where you're going all dressed up like that. Don't use that tone with me, boy. Uh, um, to see Widow Douglas. You're gonna ask her for more money, aren't you? Isn't that yeah. right? And I'll uh, keep asking her until she's bled dry. Stop, Paul. Leave the widow alone. You just stay in there and keep your mouth shut. Got it? Ooh, he gets my goat. I gotta get out of here and stop him somehow. Lucky sounds real close, so I must be beyond the cabin wall by now. I did it, Lucky, I did it. I found a way out of there. I'm free. Hey, Lucky. <laughs> Miss me? <laughs> I miss you, too. Believe me, I could eat a pumpkin. I'm so glad to see you again. Lucky, I gotta think of some way to stop my paw. If I run away, Lucky, Pa will just make more trouble for the nice widow Douglas, and that's the last thing I want. Sometimes, 
I wish I had never been born. Take a look up there. Looks like a big storm's on its way. Huh? That what I think it is? Yeah, it's a canoe! I just got me a canoe. And I think I know just how I'm gonna use it. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Lucky, I got a feeling our luck's starting to change. Now I want you to guard this, okay? Atta boy. Oh, uh. This rain's gonna make Pa hurry for home a lot faster. I better get back to quick. How's it, weather? Did you have a good day, Pa? No. I went to see that woman. She refused to give me any more money. Can you believe that? Leave her alone. She's done enough. We ain't got any money, boy. Not a dime. Hurry up, boy. We ain't got all day. Whoa. Yahoo! What are you wearing those What are you wearing those duds for, boy? We gotta make the widow Douglas sigh for you, so she'll give us more money. Worry, worry, worry. Don't you know how to do anything else, Pa? I told you the widow will give me anything I want. No, oh, good. Just so long as we get the money we need. <laughs> You're a good boy, Huck. You're making your pa proud. Careful. Cunt's a bit tricky. The river's swollen from the rain. It can be dangerous. I bet we get a bundle out of the old lady today. If we play this right, we can take her for every penny she's worth. <laughs> uh, ah! 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 Where are you? I'm over here. Grab the oar, boy. Help me Do something off. right for once ah! in your life. They'll think I drowned in the river for sure, and then Paul have to leave the widow Douglas alone for good. Come on, Lucky. I hope Tom and Jim aren't taking it too hard, but it's the only way. Okay, ready to go. Uh, the sooner I'm out of here, the better. Open up! Open this blasted door! My boy's been drowned! What in tarnation's taking you so long? Open up! Oh, it's you. Stop making all this racket. You know Mrs. Douglas isn't feeling well. It's Huck! He's drowned! Lock in our boat and Huck was thrown into the river. The current swept him away. Please help me. No! That's a sick lie. What? My Huck? He says Huck's been drowned. It can't be. Not Huck. We must organize a rescue party immediately. I wonder, could this be part of what Huck was planning? Looking! We've got to find him! Well, all those people... 
people looking for me. Poor Huck. I can't believe we'll never ever see him again. Stop saying that, will you, Becky? Huck's not dead. He's just as much alive as we are. I want to believe that, but everybody in town's saying Huck's a goner. Well, I don't care. I'm gonna go and find my friend. Wait up, Jim. I'm coming with you. Where do we look? look? Mm, well, lucky by tomorrow afternoon, she'll be ready. By the time I'm through with her, she'll be able to take us wherever we want to go. Well, don't just stand there, Lucky. Come and tell me what you think of your new home. Don't worry, I guarantee you she won't sink. Well, at least I don't think she will. So how do you like her? Yep, she is pretty nice, isn't she? Hey! It's gonna be wonderful. Just think of all the adventures the two of us are gonna have. <laughs> yeah! No one to tell us what to do. We're free at last, Lucky. I ask you, what sort of life could be better than this? Wow, look at that sunset. Perfect ending to a perfect day. And you know what? I got a feeling that from now on, every day's gonna be perfect. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> hey, I wonder where everybody's going, and why do they all look so sad? <laughs> There's something strange going on here, Lucky, and I gotta find out what it is. Listen, you wait here, Lucky. You see, everyone thinks I drowned in the river. I don't want someone trying to give you a new home. I gotta see what's going on. We come here today to mourn the passing of Huckleberry Finn. A fine young lad, tragically taken from us in the prime of his life. Golly! All those people in there are at my funeral! <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair! Huck <laughs> Finn, my best friend in the whole wide world. Don't you say that, Ben! Huck was my best friend and you know it! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Just look at that. All those people are crying over me. He was such a special boy. There'll never be another like him ever. <laughs> what? What, my boy? What? <laughs> I can't believe they're all so sad because of me. Too bad I had to drown to find out how much everybody cared about me. <laughs> Huckleberry Finn, I'll never forgive you for this. <laughs> I never had any idea that all these wonderful people felt this way about Huck Finn. <laughs> I've heard them all so much. Can I ever make it up to them? Of course not. you a lot. <laughs> huh? Hi, Lucky. Sure am glad to see you again. You and Huck, you were always together, weren't you? Now, wait a second. You couldn't have gotten here all by yourself. 
It's Huck. Where are you, Huck? Come on. This ain't funny anymore. Hey, Hucky, where are you going? Aha! Shh. Huck. Yeah, I should have known. I... Uh, please let me explain, Jim. <laughs> Huck! Everyone thinks you were drowned, Huck. I'm really sorry, Jim. I'm so glad you're alive. Hey, I should be angry at you scaring us all like that. Sorry, but it was the only way to trick my pa. Pretty clever if I say so myself. Fooled everyone, didn't I? Well, now that you're back among the living, you're coming with me to tell everybody the good Wait, news. Huh? Don't you see, if we let anyone else know that I'm still alive, then they tell my pa. Only you can know, Jim. Oh, see what you mean. said we were going to run away and see your mom? You really mean it? Why, sure. Now's the perfect time. Come on, Jim, what do you say? And you better not say no. Wow, you really do mean it. Of course I do. You'll never regret it, Jim, I guarantee it. It'll be the best adventure you ever had in your life. And besides, you still want to see your ma, don't you? You talk me into it, Huck. Let's go see my ma. Jim, didn't I tell you you'd have the time of your life? You bet, Huck. These last couple weeks have been the happiest I've ever had my whole life. But I'm glad I'll be seeing my mom soon, because that'll make me even happier. <laughs> this has been a lot of fun. You there, on the huh? map. Hey, are you two kids from Hannibal? Huh? Uh-oh. Well, what do you think we should do? I was gonna ask you. I got a message for you, too. Don't trust him, Huck. What if he makes us go back home before I see my mom? Hold mm. on. Hey! Look, this raft's awful slow. He could catch us easy. Come on, boys. I ain't got all day. We got no choice. Don't worry. We'll be all right. Hope so. Well, sir, here we are. What's this all about? I've been waiting on this here dock all day just to give you kids this message. What is it? There's someone here waiting to meet you two. <laughs> huh? Me! Hi, Cousin Tom. Huh? <laughs> it's me, your little cousin Eddie. We huh? ain't seen each but other I... for years, but you remember me, don't you? Aunt Polly wrote and told us that you were coming. He thinks I'm Tom Sawyer, Jim. I know. Play along. That's right. Now I remember she said she was going to write to you. <laughs> Cousin Tom, I can hardly believe you're here after all this time. Now come on, there's something i got to show you. Hurry! I have a treasure map. I've been waiting for you to get here to help me find the treasure. Why, sure. After all, we're cousins, ain't we? Says here we're supposed to walk 15 paces toward the big rock with the reeds at the bottom. 10, 11, 12... 13, 14, 15. This is it. Now we look for the hill of the setting sun. Over there. Now, 20 paces towards the hill to the rock shaped like a round loaf of bread, then head for the biggest oak tree you see and start digging. 18, 19, 20. There's the rock. Hey. Hooray! Now, where's that oak tree? Look! All right. The map's been right so far, so maybe there really is a treasure. Well, if there is, we're going to find it. We sure are. Start digging. Look. Golly, I wonder what's inside. Let's find out. Huh? Must be some kind of secret message. Sure enough is. You got to run around the tree two times, and you got to cluck like a chicken at the same time. The treasure will be found by the one who proves himself worthy by clucking the loudest. Clucking? But why? 
Don't ask me. Twice around the tree, so what are we waiting for? Right, let's get going, guys. That's once. And that's twice. Hold it. Now we glove. You guys were chickens. Guess I was right. I should have known. We sure fooled them, Tom. But how'd you know we'd be here? I saw you and Jim headed down river on that raft of y'all's. What? You knew all along? Well, I'll be. How'd you like your treasure hunt? Clucking like chickens. <laughs> <laughs> Serves you right. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm still mad at you for fooling me like that. I'm sorry, Tom, but I had to make my pa think I'd been drowned. You forgive me, don't you? I accept your apology. The reason me and Jim left Hannibal is to see Jim's mom. She's sick. Real sick. I just hope we're not too late. Matter of fact, seeing Jim's ma's the reason me and the widow Douglas are here. The widow Douglas? She's here, too? She's on her way to see Jim's ma right now. How long you figure till we get to my ma's place? Another day. Maybe two? It's been a wonderful adventure, Huck, but I sure will be glad to see my mom again. Whoa, ma'am. Thank you, driver. A pleasure, ma'am. Don't mention Jill. No need to worry, Huck. Jim's mama has quite enough to worry about as it is, I'm afraid. Poor thing. Sarah, dear, how are you? Miss Watson here said that the trip would be too much for me, but I wanted so much to see you before your operation. Miss Douglas, Miss Watson, how nice of you to come. <coughs> Nonsense, not at all. It was a lovely trip. Now tell us, how are you feeling, dear? I'm feeling much better, thank you. It's so kind of you to come. Didn't you bring my baby Jim with you? Where's my boy? He, well, um, he wanted so very badly to come see you, but he couldn't because of uh, his schoolwork. Oh, but isn't this summer vacation? Well, you see, it was the time, and the project he's working on now is special, isn't it? Uh, yes. I see. I miss my baby so much. Hey, you guys, listen. Huh? I've never heard a sound like that before. Could be something scraping under I'll the I'll look over on this side. <coughs> look over there. That's a tornado. Man. Now our very lives are at stake. Huh? It's a fight to the finish, yeah! We'll never give up. Never! Requesting permission to speak, Captain Sawyer, sir. Permission granted. It's headed straight for us. Huh? Golly. Tom! All right! Roll! Roll! Ah! Here it comes! Roll! Roll for your lives! It's getting closer! If we don't go fast, it's going to catch us! <laughs> if that water spout hits the raft, we're goners! Something's wrong. Something's happened to him. You were dreaming, dear. It was no dream. 
I heard his voice plain as day. He was calling for me, Mama, Mama, help me. Could it be? He's my boy, I have to help him, please. I have to. Jim's fine, dear. Really he is. No, no, you must believe me, please. I'm not imagining things. Please, my boy needs me now. A mother knows these things. A mother knows. I'll do whatever I can. You've got to keep looking. Where are you, Jim? <coughs> Jim! 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 Oh, Jim, my poor baby. Where are you, Jim? Jim! Jim! <gasps> oh, doctor, <laughs> isn't there anything you can do? Mm, I'm afraid Jim, not. my baby boy. Surely there must be something you can... I am afraid she needs the operation immediately. But she refuses to have the operation until she sees her son. You mean if she doesn't have the operation immediately, she's going to... Without the operation, she will die. Do you have any idea where her son might be? We believe he's on his way here now. Unfortunately, we have no way of contacting him. If we don't find him soon, she is going to die. But there must be some kind of medicine, some form of treatment. <sighs> and there's nothing that I can do. I hate feeling so helpless. Don't give up, Mrs. Douglas. I'm sure he'll make it. Yes, you're right. Jim! He's got to be around Hi, here somewhere. Jim, hands if you can hear us. Where are you? Jim might be hurt. we got to find him. I don't know. Keep yelling, I guess. Never looked for no one carried off by a tornado before. Well, we can't give up. It don't matter how long it takes, we'll find him. I know we will. We got to. Got that right. Jim, can you hear me? Tell us where you are. Jim! Where are you? <coughs> what you got there, boy? Jim's harmonica. He was in his pocket. Which means he's nearby. Come on, Tom. Jim! Jim, where are you? Uh-oh. Huh? Look, it's his shoe, Tom. It fell from that tree. Jim! Jim, where are you? I'm up here, but I'm stuck. I can't move. There he is. Hang on, we're coming to help you. I never gave up hope. Never. Uh, we uh, did it. Uh, oh, oh, What's wrong, oh, Jim? What'd you do to your leg? It's nothing, really. Oh, oh. Jim, you got hurt bad, didn't you? Maybe, but I don't care how much it hurts. Nothing's gonna stop me from seeing my mother. We'll make sure you get to see her. Don't you worry about that. Well, come on. Let's get going. That's it, Jim. Easy now. We'll be there before you know it. Are you okay, Jim? You want to rest for a while? Hey, oh, bad. Mm. You can't go on, Hook. I have to. Uh, there must be something we can do. How's the leg feel? All right. Uh, yeah. Almost all healed up. Oh, careful. Sorry about that. You should have gone first class. We're trying to give you as smooth a ride as we can, but this road we're on is full of rocks and potholes. Oh, uh, that's all right. You two are the greatest friends a guy could ever have. And friends stick together, right? Right now, the question is whether or not my leg's going to stick together. <laughs> Please, Sarah, you simply must have that operation. No, I need to see my son if something should happen to me. I want to say goodbye. No, you'll do no such thing. We're going to get there on time at the rate we're going. What do you think we should do? I'm going to go on ahead to the hospital and find help. But how? You just leave it to me, Jim. I'll find your mom and I'll tell her you're on your way. One for all, and, and all, all for one. one.
That's now and forever and always. Wish me luck. Are you ready, boy? <coughs> Come on. Take care of yourself, Hawk. Any sign of the boy? Oh, Jimmy. Jimmy, my baby. Oh, Jimmy. Do you think Huck's all right? Don't worry about Huck. Once he gets his mind set on doing something, he does it. Betcha. Help is already on the way. Twisted my ankle, boy. Bad, too. But I gotta go on. I can't slow down. Cause once Hook Finn says he's gonna do something, he does it. You can't go on like this, Tom. Just give me a little time to rest. Tom, look, I appreciate everything you've done for me, but you can't go on without help. Oh, give me a minute, I'll be fine. Uh, nope, we're not going on. We're waiting right here for Huck. <laughs> oh dear, I'm afraid for poor Sarah if her son doesn't arrive soon. All we can do is pray for a miracle. <laughs> Don't give up hope. If a miracle is what we need, then a miracle is what we'll get. Maybe that's it now. Huh? <gasps> a miracle! A miracle? Why, whatever do you mean, dear? Well? Hello? Oh. Is anybody home? Is anybody here? Uh, excuse me, my name is Huckleberry Finn. I, I don't know if i come to the right place or not, but I'm looking for my friend's mother. Her name's Sarah Miller. I'll be. Miss Douglas, is that you? It's our miracle. I believe you're right, dear. Did I get here in time? I'm not too late, am I? No, Huck. Oh! You're just in time. Huck! I've missed you. <laughs> I've missed you, too! Come here! <laughs> oh. 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 everything's all right. We thought you were dead. I'm so sorry for everything. This is truly a miracle. I can't tell you how happy I am to see y'all. Huck, what are you doing here? Jim wanted to see his ma, so I promised I'd take him. He's less than a day away from here. Oh! <gasps> Sarah? Oh, Sarah! Jim's on his way. He's on his way here right now. My baby, won't you bring him to me? Huck? Where's Jim? Well, you see, he had to stay behind because he broke his ankle. Oh, oh no. Don't you worry, he's okay. My friend Tom's looking after him. It's okay. Huck and I will get him on the wagon. Come on, Huck, let's go. Right. That lad's a miracle. Oh, as soon as Miss Watson and Huck return with Jim, you can have your operation. I declare, Sarah, I do believe everything's gonna be just fine now. Finally. We've 
we've got to hurry. Your mom won't do what the doctor said till you get there. Oh. What? I'm here, Mama. Thank goodness. You're really here. Oh, Mama, it's so good to see you. Mama. Baby. Oh, I oh. missed you so much. I never <laughs> want to let you it's go. It's so good to see you. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> oh, my baby boy. <laughs> I'm ready for the operation, Doctor. Oh, no. Huh? Therefore. Operation? Yes, Jim. Mama needs an operation to make her well. But now that you're here, I know everything will be just fine. Everything and then some. Oh, Mom. I love you. <laughs> but however, did they find you way up in that tree? They found my shoe. You always say to tie my laces tight, Mama, but this is one time I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you feeling better, Mama? I'm fine, thanks to you, Jim. Huck and Tom, they're the ones that deserve the credit. If it weren't for them, I would have never gotten here. Oh. I can never thank you for everything. Thanks. Twerk nothing, ma'am. Say, how about I start at the beginning so you can hear all of our adventures? Would you like that? You Ooh. know I would. I think we'd all like that. Well, then, it all started when Huck pretended he was drowned. Because that was the only way he could get his father to stop bothering Mrs. Douglas. But after Huck's funeral, I found his little dog, Lucky, and I followed him straight to where Huck was hiding in the woods. Let's go, Lucky. Come on. We're on our way. Question is, where are we going? To new adventures. It sounds wonderful, Jim. Mm hmm Oh, I wish I could have been floating down the river with you boys. <laughs> oh. <gasps> <laughs> you know, we should do something special for Tom and Huck. What? Where did they go? They were here just a moment ago. Those two are long gone by now. What? If I know Tom and Huck, they're already on their way to another adventure. They are? The joys of youth. The joys of youth indeed. They never even said where they were going. <laughs> Well, folks, you remember what I told you when I started telling you the story. There's no boy alive that's luckier than Huck Finn. <laughs> Maybe now you can see what I mean. <laughs> <laughs>